back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie. If you are new here, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you are updated whenever I upload. So I'm trying to stay focused on uploading at least once a week. It may be like one and a half weeks, but I'm really, really trying. So today's video is gonna be about how I take care of my skin. I always get the question, how is it that you look so young? I am 36 years old, if you guys didn't know. And people always think I am a teenager. I think it's because I am very petite. And I, yes, I do look young. I've seen like a lot of people in their 20s and I look way younger than them. But I'm just gonna show you guys what I do outside of genetics and drinking a lot of water. I don't really drink soda. I drink a coffee here and there. Um, I mostly um, drink like teas and stuff like that. I eat fairly healthy. Um, I eat all of my fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. Um, and I don't eat too much red meat. Um, yeah, so that's what I do. Like my diet, I don't watch my diet, but that's just how we cook in my household. Um, but I'm going to show you the easy part, the part that you have the most control over because you don't have control over your genetics. So the easy part is just taking care of your skin. You don't have to use these particular products. You just have to be mindful of what works for you and your skin type and what your skin is doing at the time. So for me, my skin typically needs moisture and hydration. So that's what I focus on. I will buy products um, according to what I need at the time. I usually don't get oily. I usually stay in the um, normal to dry dehydrated area and I know my skin is dehydrated when I start to see my I call it my third eye I get a wrinkle right in between here and then my smile lines are really prominent and especially I pay attention to my under eyes if my under eyes look really dry um, then I focus on those products so that I know I need moisture and hydration. I need to drink more water and I need to put more watery products on my skin and possibly like some oils to seal and lock it all in. So here are the products that I have been using as of late and they seem to work really good for me. Um, I am no by no means telling you to go and use these products or to purchase these products. That's just what works for me and my skin at the time. So the first thing I do is I remove all of the makeup from my skin and the makeup wipes that I'm using at the moment are the Neutrogena wipes. And these are just the singles because I picked these up when I was going to the Bahamas for Thanksgiving. And this is just what I have right now. And so I've, really, I've been really enjoying these because they're in the little individual packs. I hate when I have the full pack and then the sticky on the top gets worn out and then my wipes start to dry out. So I find that these little wipes are very, very convenient. They are a pain in the ass to open, but I guess that's a good thing. So I've removed all of the makeup off of my face using just one makeup wipe. And then again, I'm not really a full coverage girl. Um, I just like to cover my spots down here and my under eyes. So I don't go crazy with the makeup. So one makeup wipe should do it for you. Just use that little trick where you're folding it over your hand and I swear to God, it'll get all the makeup off. You don't have to waste your makeup wipes like that. Okay guys, so my next step is to wash my face, cleanse my face, and I am going to be using the Neutrogena Hydra Boost, and this is the Hydrate and Cleansing Gel, and then I like to use my, um, um, what is it called? <laughs> this is by Fancy Co, or yeah, Fancy.co, and this is a, um, this is one of those, it's not a, it's like a silicone, I forgot the name of it. Oscillating Cleansing Doohickey. I'm going to put the link for it down below. I don't remember the exact name for it. I'm so sorry, guys. But this thing holds a charge so long. Like, I literally probably charge this, like, once every three, four months. Um, and I use it every day. I use it faithfully. If I don't use this and I say I'm out of town, I have a... Oreo Play and I've had that for over a year. Supposedly that only works for 90 days, 
but I've had that probably two years and it still works and I don't know and I've used it well over 90 times um, so yeah I'm gonna go and cleanse my face using these two products and I will be right back all right so I cleanse my face using the two products that I showed you guys another tip I wanted to give you is that if you're okay with using paper towels use paper towels because if you're using the same rag or towel to dry your face every day that is going to harbor bacteria and then it's going to start to make you break out so I recommend using a paper towel I just take some paper towel out of the kitchen or most of the time we have paper towel in our bathroom and that's what I use to dry my face so I pack dry with this so my third step of cleansing I like to go in with the vitamin C juice cleanser and this is just a liquid cleanser it doesn't foam or anything and it says it has orange flower water um, and it brightens and cleanses the skin so this product has a pump at the top and that's what I love about it so I just take my cotton round and and I kind of like to pinch it between my fingers right here like that and then I go in and I make sure I get into like the sides of my nose anywhere that makeup will probably get stuck or like there would be dirt but for night I exclusively use the vitamin C tonic and this one smells really good like if you like the fragrance of like oranges and stuff like that or anything that's kind of like that vitamin C fragrance, lemons and stuff like that, you will love this fragrance. Out of the whole vitamin C line, I would have to say that this is my least favorite, only because of the vitamin C fragrance that is a little bit strong. Um, and you definitely smell it, especially like when you wake up, like you, it's like really, really potent. So I like to shake this up a bit. And it comes in a dropper and I usually do two to three drops you see how you see how like rich it is so one two three that's good and I just emulsify it in my hands and press it into my skin so after serum I like to go in with an eye cream and my favorite eye cream right now is from Brandless it comes in a tube like this and I just take a little bit of it and take a little bit of it you typically want to use your ring fingers but uh, this is what I'm comfortable with and I just kind of pat it in because I do have tear troughs um, you see how like it's sunken in I press right here so those are tear troughs and then I put them on my lid and in my brow and especially like on the sides of my face and I just kind of press it into my skin so after that's fully absorbed I go in with the vitamin C caviar balm and this is a facial mask that you don't have to wash off and I love that this also helps your skin to feel super super smooth so now that that's on my face I go in with a moisturizer so I'm going to use the lotion um, the vitamin C lotion it comes in a little squeezy tube like that and I know some of you somebody's going to say oh my gosh you're doing too much it's too much product yada 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 but this is what works for my skin and like I said a lot of people ask me how is it that I look so young and stuff like that but I've always been into skincare and moisturizing and stuff like that and keeping up with my skin so this is what I I do and I've always done I do not go to sleep with makeup on I've never had that habit or developed that habit and on top of that like it's a lot but if you guys notice like a lot of Asian people they have really nice skin and their skin is super tight and it's because they use all these freaking products it's like a 10 step thing and their skin look really really good and healthy and glowy but here in America we don't do that we don't have time for that it's too much so when your skin is looking dry and crusty don't complain and say oh well you're doing too much no it's not too much it's, it's called pampering yourself just take a little bit 
of time to do this every night and it's like super super relaxing too so i especially like to do this like before i go in a hot bath oh my gosh it is so good and amazing so my last step and I do this night and day, especially if I want to wear matte foundation. And but I don't want I want the longevity of matte foundation, but I don't want it to look super dry. I add a bit of the rose oil, or I will use a little bit of unrefined coconut oil to lock in everything that I've done. And that works wonders for me as well like my rose oil is almost gone so I just take a little bit of that that's not even two drops what? Whoop. oh there was more in here than I thought okay so I just take like two drops drop it in my hand and press it in like with your oils and your serums and your essences and, and stuff like that, you want to press those things into your skin. And typically I take this down to my neck, but I haven't taken a shower yet, so I'm not going to do that. Because it's just going to wash all off. And I also like, I try to do this after I take my shower, but for sakes of making this video, <laughs> I wanted to do it um, before. So lastly, for you guys, I am going to go in with the Detoxify by Pixi, and these are eye masks. When my eyes look super tired like this, because, true story, your girl wakes up at 1.50 every morning, 1.50 a.m., and I get dressed, and I go to my client, and I have, she lives 40 minutes away, and I have to be at her house at 3 o'clock every morning so these look like this but when I do these like you can't even tell that I have chair traps like especially like if I wake up in the morning my under eyes look amazing and I attribute that to these like I'm hoping my husband gets me a cosmetic refrigerator for Christmas because I want to start putting these in my refrigerator I don't want to put them in the refrigerator in the kitchen because they're just gonna get lost, let's be honest. So I want my little personal refrigerator. So it comes with the top. I didn't throw the top away, I keep the top on. That's just how I am, I don't like, if like my products come with a top like that, I don't like throwing them away. And it comes with a little spoon, because also, I'm a Virgo, <laughs> and I'm kinda OCD like that. I don't like putting my hand in here, so I take it out like this. And then I apply it, ooh, wrong side, I apply it to my face. And I go under here and put it on. And then I use a spoon to really press it in. And then you can feel it get snug to your skin. That concludes my skincare for the nighttime. I'm about to go and take a shower. If you guys enjoy my skincare video, definitely give this a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any comments, if you would like to see a particular topic of video, leave that down below. I'll be sure to get that out to you. Like I said, I'm trying to stick to a schedule of at least one video a week, and then maybe we'll progress from there. But right now, life is just a little bit too busy for me to put more than that out. Honestly, during the day, I'm exhausted and um, I just can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. So, if you guys like this video, like I said, give them a thumbs up. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.